It started with this portrait of Yara Mahmood here in the Peabody Room of the Georgetown Public Library. Historian and author Jim Johnston noticed the painting one day. Intrigued by this mysterious figure, Johnston sought to uncover more. In his book, From Slave Ship to Harvard, he details some of the aspects of Yarrow's life that he's uncovered through his research. Now, Johnston has joined archaeologist Mia Carey, Ruth Trockley, and a host of volunteers to unearth more about the dynamic dignitary. Well, once I wrote the book, I started pressing the city to, to do something about this property because I realized that you know, there might be something underground, that this was a prime candidate for archaeology. But it's like moving a mountain to get these things to happen. This is a very expensive dig, and so the city has put a lot of investment in it. They needed, we needed to get permission from the owner of the property to let us do the dig. So it took a lot of work to make all this happen. The team has been digging for months, even welcoming neighbors to tour the site and donate to the project. So far, they've unearthed artifacts like marbles, crosses, and toy soldiers, but are poised to find a diary or even his body, something that will lend a clear picture of who he was. You know uh, what he ate. That's a possibility. And diet is very important. Mia is a zooarchaeologist, and that's her specialty. You know whether, you know, I, I used to joke, you'll know whether he brought anything from Africa with him. I don't think he brought anything physically with him, but he brought ideas in his head. Still, what they have learned has drawn excitement and appreciation. Many involved are proud of who Yarrow was and what his accomplishments have meant to African, African American, and Islamic history in the United States. He freed himself, or he became free. He owned money in a bank. Uh, it shows a man who was, despite dis uh, difficult circumstances, he was optimistic, he was steadfast, and he surpassed what we think as the American dream. Glenn Hill, AP.